here's our second video about dilations in geometry. We're going to look at some examples where the center of the dilation is always at the origin, and we're going to talk about scale factor and the coordinates of the new figures. Here's an example where we have the pre-image, and we want to find the coordinates of the dilated image. I'm using the notation D3, so we know that the scale factor is 3. Here's the cool thing about dilations that are centered at 0, 0. When they're centered at 0, 0, the distances away from 0, 0 match with what the coordinates are themselves. That's not true if the center isn't 0, 0. That's a little more complicated, so we'll deal with that in another video. But for the purposes of this one, to find the coordinates of the new figure, you simply take the scale factor and apply it to all the original coordinates. What I mean is multiply everything by 3 and you'll get the new coordinates. So the coordinates of a prime would be 1 times 3, 1 times 3. So that would be 3, 3. And the coordinates of b prime would be 2 times 3, 3 times 3. And the coordinates of c prime are 4 times 3, 1 times 3. And you're done. Those are the coordinates of the new figure. That's all you have to do because the question simply asks you to find the coordinates. You could go ahead and graph them on the graph now that you know the coordinates, but I'm not teaching you how to graph today, so I'm gonna skip that. Here are two figures already drawn. You've got the pre-image and the dilated image. We can tell that the purple image is the pre-image because it does not have the little prime marks. The green image is the dilated image because it is labeled A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, so in this case, the image appears to be getting bigger, so we would expect the scale factor to be greater than 1. To figure this out, we either take measurements we can see or we take the coordinates and we make ratios of the dilated image to the pre-image to find the scale factor. If any of the sides of these triangles lined up directly on a horizontal line or a vertical line, you would be able to find their measurements really easily. You would have to use Pythagorean theorem to find the lengths of any of the sides of the triangles so I'm not gonna use that, that's just not the easiest way. An easier way is to take the coordinates of two points. So for example, let's use C. C prime is located at four, two, and C is located at two, one. You can probably already see that scale factor emerging. The scale factor, K, is equal to the ratio of either the x-coordinates or the y-coordinates. It doesn't matter what you use. It should come out the same, right? Isn't that the same as that, which is 2? And 2 is the scale factor. You would get the same answer no matter which points you used. It doesn't matter if you use a prime, b prime, or c prime. Just remember to put the dilated coordinates on top. Okay, here's another example. Not a triangle this time. They don't all have to be triangles. Here we've got two pentagons. Uh, the pre-image must be the green one, and the dilated image must be this one because of the little prime notation, right? So in this case, this is not an enlargement, this is a reduction. So we would expect our scale factor to be less than 1, right? Let's see. Pick any point you want. I think I'll use D. So remember that D prime is going to go over D, right? And so d prime is composed of 2 and negative 1. Let's use the x-coordinates. So the x-coordinate of d prime is 2, and the x-coordinate of d is 6. So it would appear that our scale factor, if we reduce here, is 1 third. Now, that's how you use ordered pairs to find it. But remember I said previously, all the linear measurements should be in the same proportion also. So in this figure, we've actually got some horizontal lines, we've got some vertical lines, and that means it's really easy to find distances, right? So if you look at B prime to C prime, the distance right here is one. And if you look at B to C, the distance is Three. We can use those. So B prime C prime means the distance between them. If you remember back to our geometry unit, when I put those two letters together, it means distance, and the distance between them is one. BC, the distance is three, so the scale factor is one third. That would also work for CD and C prime D prime. Let's try that. So C prime D prime is equal to two. 
and CD is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which reduces to 1 third. So there's many different ways to find the scale factor, but it should come out the same no matter which linear measurements or coordinates you're looking at. Let's find the coordinates of the new figure. So we're looking for a prime, b prime, c prime, starting with the coordinates that we have. So in the pre-image, a is at 0, 3. So a prime will be, if you multiply those by 1 third, which is the same as dividing by 3. You can think of it either way, whatever makes more sense to you. If I take 0 divided by 3, I've still got 0. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. Done. Okay, let's look at point B. The coordinates of B appear to be at negative 3, negative 3. So B prime would be both of those divided by 3 makes negative 1, negative 1. And C is at 3, negative 1. So C prime would be both of those divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and negative 1 divided by 3 is negative 1 third. I prefer the fraction in this case. You know why. If you change that to a decimal, you've got a mess. You have a repeating decimal, and you really shouldn't write ordered pairs with the repeating decimal symbol worked into them. You should have an exact answer every time. So those are the coordinates of D one third. Now, this is not a polygon, but it is a dilation of a heart image. So we're gonna find the scale factor using what we've learned about scale factor of dilations that are centered at zero, zero. All the linear measurements are proportional, as are the coordinates of any corresponding points. So when I say find it two ways, I don't mean use the x's and the y's of the same point. That's really one way. I want you to use these corresponding points, C and C prime, but also some other way. So let's start with the C, C prime. So if we do C prime over C, we can use the X's or the Y's, it doesn't matter. If we use the X coordinates, we would get four over two, which equals two. And that means that the dilation is twice as big in all its linear measurements as the pre-image. And that looks about right. There is one linear measurement that is very clear on this picture. I would not use this measurement because I'm not sure if it actually corresponds to this or not. It may, but it isn't that clear to me. What is clear is the line of symmetry from here to here. So one of the linear distances is that line of symmetry, that line segment that goes right down the middle where if you folded to cut out a heart, that would be the fold, right? So we have to start with the dilation on top. So the line of symmetry measurement for the dilation would be the bigger blue heart, okay? And that is two, four, six, eight. Even though the number is hard to see, that is a distance of eight. And for the smaller heart, it is at four. Okay, those two distances reduce to two also. And so we have found the scale factor two different ways. And that's a really good introduction to all the basic skills you need when you're working with dilations that are centered at zero, zero. In the third video, we'll talk about figures whose center is not at zero, zero.